there was so much of pressure on the land available in Bombay that actually they had to start with land reclamation. I told you the meaning of the word reclamation in the terms and concept. So here reclamation led to certain big projects in the Bombay city because now they could make that unfit land fit for human usage. We see the, the Back Bay Reclamation Company won the right in 1864 to actually reclaim land from the tip of Malabar Hill till Kolaba and it did a wonderful job there. The Bombay Port Trust built a dry dock and the marine, and marine drive of Bombay is another contribution which has been done due to the land reclamation which has started in Bombay. It means that they are trying to actually make use as I said of the marshy land, of the sea land, of all those land which had been lying waste and was considered unfit by making it fit for human use. Moving on, today Bombay is called as Mayapuri, city of dreams. The young people from all parts of India think that as soon as they reach Bombay, they will become heroes. So they rush to this city and they move there and feel that they are going to be one of the very big stars in Bombay. If I talk about it, of the arrival of the new migrants there, lot of films were made at that time on the life of the migrants, those who had come to Bombay. And especially I would like to talk about the two songs. One CID, wherein you hear, E Dil Mushkil Hai Rehna Yaha. And then I talk about the song from the guest house, which says, Jiska Juta Uska Sir. Dil hai chota, bade hai sir, waare wa mum, teri Mumbai. Now here they actually talk about that the people here were not very friendly and it was very difficult to get space there to get actually some kind of livelihood for the people who had moved from outside, which meant a difficult life for the migrants who were getting attracted to this city looking at the star life, the Maya Puri as they called it. How did this city turn into the film capital? First of all, it was Harish Chandra Sukharam who shot a wrestling scene and it was the first film which was shot. Raja Harish Chandra was made by Dada Sahib Falke in 1913. And later on, this city turned into the capital, film capital city by 1925 because there was no looking back after the filming of Raja Harish Chandra. And lot of people who had migrated, especially from Punjab, like Isma Chuktai and Hasan Manto, made many films on the life of the migrants of the youngsters who had entered Bombay with the notion that Bombay is waiting for them so that they step in and they are heroes. The struggle of the people is beautifully shown in these films. Well, I say that Bombay is actually a city of dream and reality. It's a city of slums and star bungalows. That is, you actually dream that you are going to become very, very big in life and you face the hard realities of life. And then there are poor people living in chawls and the spacious bungalows of the stars. 